Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Creatively Sandra. If you're new here, I'm Sandra, and here we do all things Disney. Today I have a pink a la mode haul. It's a tiny haul, tiny, small but mighty maybe. Um, and we are gonna open some blind box pins that are in here as well. So let's jump into it. Uh, they had a sale. Pink Alamode Mode is having sales left and right. They are coming out with pins left and right. They're killing me because there is so much to buy. Um, this one, I took advantage of the New Year's sale, I guess. It was like a 2023 code. So they had a bunch of sale items and then they had additional, I don't know, like 10%, 15% off that. So it was really good deal. I took advantage. There was some... Um, pins that I was waiting for, but then I picked up some other little items that were just, you know, too good a deal to resist. So the first one is this Villains um, Mystery Funkos. I think they're Funkos. Mystery Minis. Are they Funkos? Mm, maybe not. Oh yeah, they are. So it's Funko brand on the bottom. And um, I'm just going to open this because it's the only one I got. I'm not going to do a separate video or anything. But if I'm looking at this, what I paid was like $4.23. So it was on sale and then had another, I don't know, 75 cents off. And so let's just open that right up. I have a couple of these. I know I got Ursula. Um, I got Hades. I think I got Evil Queen as well. So you can get, it's got most of the um, villains on there. Evil Queen, the old hag, uh, Lady Tremaine, Chernabog, the Queen of Hearts, Hook, Maleficent, Cruella, Dr. Facilier, Hades, Jafar, and Ursula. Um, Cruella would be really fun. I didn't get her. I might have even traded one of these. I'm trying to see where the others are. I didn't keep them all together, so it's hard for me to tell you which ones I had, but I know I had um, three of them that I had bought quite a while ago when they first came out. So they are in a blind bag, even inside here. Ooh. This is not a villain I collect. I can feel it. <laughs> But it is a popular villain, so that's kind of fun. Maybe I will gift it to someone. It is Maleficent. Look at her. She's really more cute than scary. These are adorable. I just did a... I'm coloring some images of Maleficent in. I've got to get back to my crafting videos. Right now, I'm doing... um just some Copic coloring of some stamped image. If that's something you'd be interested in, I don't really think of it as crafting because it's just coloring, but you are. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, Maleficent, super cute, awesome. So that was the first deal. Let's see what else is in here. The next thing is a couple of, uh, well, my favorite, one of my favorite, favorite characters. These little magnets were on sale and they ended up this one ended up being like $2.50, and it is Carl from Up. And how adorable is that? They have a bunch of magnets that are, um, I think they're Pink Alamode exclusives. I mean, this says Pixar, so maybe not. Maybe these are available at Disney um, or somewhere. But it is, on the back, it says Disney Pixar, and it's um, copyright or whatever by Disney, so... Uh, that's on the back, but these are super cute. And I just been resisting, like, I don't really need to go buy a bunch of those, but they were so cheap, let's do it. And then also, this one was even cheaper. I keep looking over here at my order form so I can tell you prices. This one ended up being $1.27. So I got the Queen of Hearts because she was on uh, sale, like really cheap. And then, like I said, even bigger discount. So Disney Villain, Queen of Hearts, and it is a magnet. So even if those just go on my refrigerator, they're also nice to throw in a swap box for gifts. And then I picked up one of the Princess Fig Pins. I'll open this up because these were, let's see, $6.36 is what I paid for her. And it is Pocahontas. And I just think this is a stunning pin. Now, I'm going to leave it in the box because I don't know what I'm doing with these yet. I've yet to pull any fig pins out of their box because who knows. 
um, certain ones that I have a collection for, like a board for, maybe I'll pull out. But I've been collecting some of the princesses. I think I have Moana and Cinderella so far. I've just been watching for the sale and pick up one every now and then. Not a specific order, but when I'm ordering and can just add something in. And if you don't know, fig pins, they are um, standalone. So you'll see a little bit of the clip in the back that it's on and it can stand on its own or it can you can take off the stand and then it has the um pins just like the regular smaller pins and can go on a pin board so those are really nice to display i got some of the um 50th anniversary ones for walt disney world and i think i have a couple from alice in wonderland that i also bought on sale i believe at pink owl mode okay and then finally, the mystery pins. So I was hesitant on these, partially because there's so many to collect. And how do I do that? That's just ridiculous amount of pins. So they had these other carousel princess horses. Carousel princess horses, I don't know. Pr well, they're not just princesses, they're princesses and villains. A little difficult to show you on here because they are so small and I watched several people open these up. So there's Ariel, Aurora, Snow White, and Tiana, and then their counterpart villains. So Ursula, Maleficent, the Queen, the Evil Queen, and Dr. Facilier. And so this is series one. Again, I got these, let's see. These were, ended up being $6.31 each. So that was a really good deal. And um, they're not on sale anymore, I don't think, but I'm gonna watch and, and get some more when they are or whatever. Anyway, I got four to start. Let's go ahead and open them and see what we got. And I know a couple other people that recently opened these, a couple other channels. So um, Lauren over at Udalali B, she opened some. That might have even aired, well, it aired recently. And um, I'll see if she has any traders. I also know that Coco for Disney, her channel, she opened some and may still have some traders left. There was a um, few. And I just watched um, Beth over at Villains and Vice. So if you know other people who are trading these, let me know too. Well, let's just see if I've got exclusives or, or uniques rather. So the first one is, that looks like Ariel. It is, so that is, wow, that is really pretty. The saddle has sparkles in it. I love the colors. Like I'm not, I don't collect Ariel, but these are really pretty. I'm gonna put it on the pin board too, so maybe you'll see it better. What you can't see very well is that the green in there is very sparkly in the saddle. So Ariel is the first one. I've seen a lot of people get her. And then the series two is a different set of princesses. Like that one, I know I wanted um, Rapunzel is in the other set. Let's see, Tiana's in this one. I'm trying to remember who else I wanted from the other set, but there definitely was some. So these are exclusive to Pink Alamode. It's the only place you can get them. So there's not a ton of people trading them. You, you gotta seek some out. Let's see what we got in this one. I'm pulling from the top. Ooh, what is that? Is that Dr. Facilier? Oh no, it's the evil queen. And it just says the queen, like psh, there is no other. She is the queen. It's got on her saddle is a little poison apple and a crown. Let me see if I can see what's on Ariel's. On Ariel's, it's a crown and some seashells. Let me put them on the board and I'll show you side by side. And so they each say the name of the villain on the bottom or the name of the princess. So you've got Ariel and Dr. Facilier so far. Dr. Facilier is definitely one I wanted. I would like him and Tiana. Let's see, we got two more boxes. Oh, so, and I was saying like there's eight in each set. So that's a lot of pins to try and collect in a mystery set. And then the fact that I got princesses and villains that I want in the other set, the series two, and they both came out at the same time, two series, but so like 16 pins. Like I said, I don't want them all, but I would like to go for the ones that I do collect, like Snow White, Tiana, 
Rapunzel, and I feel like there was one other on the other set that I wanted, but I'll have to look at that. And pulling this one out. Ooh, it's a different one. This is Aurora. I think that um, Beth got duplicates of Aurora, but it was the one she wanted, so that was good. Okay, I, I don't collect Ariel or Aurora, so so far not doing great on the princesses, but was there two I wanted in this one? Yeah, Snow White and Tiana were the two princesses I would have liked. Last box. Okay, I'm gonna open it from the bottom. Oh no, that's a trick. This one happens to be the other direction. Let's see. Last one, it, oh, maybe it's not. Oh, it's another Ariel. <laughs> that's not good. Okay, well. I have some traders. <laughs> the only one I, I, I would love to have them all, but I think it's a, I don't know if I could get them all for six bucks each. That's, that's one thing, but um, we'll see if they stay on sale and if they last, you know, um, Pink Isle of Mode, like I said, has had some great sales and deals and everything. And some of their stuff sells out really, really fast. I love Pink Isle of Mode love what they've been doing with pins but they have so many they've been coming out with these um the three inch pins i'm sure i showed you some of the villains and um some stained glass pins but they do a whole series of them and it's getting frequent like um there's a they just came out with a princess set when i'm filming this it was yesterday by the time you see this it's a few days ago but another new princess set that covers eight or 10 of the princesses and they're all stunning but here is how we did so two Ariels, an aurora and a dr facilier i'm not mad about it any of it because i think they'll be good traders no matter what and they're beautiful like this would make a fun collection to frame by itself if you did collect them all we'll see we'll see how much i spend on other pins <laughs> if i can go back and get um, some more of these. So that was a fun box. Uh, a little bit of everything. The the magnets, the carousel mystery pins, the um, big pin, and the mini villain Funko Pop. So lots more. I got so many trades to open. Mail's just been coming. I did a lot of trades in the last week or so. So um, stay tuned for some of those. And um, more box openings and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for joining. Oh, and go ahead, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like, and go ahead and leave a comment down below and tell me what you liked and if you're collecting these set or is there something else at Pink Alamo that you've been eyeing or collecting. And if you enjoyed the content, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a like and a comment and um, you'll see my future videos with the other openings. And thanks for joining and I will see you soon.